Hello, YouTube. I thought I'd better do behind the scenes. Uh, let me. This recording is to test a handheld Beofen UV5R, a GMRS two way radio. This radio will not have an antenna or a dummy load hooked up to it, and it's using a battery eliminator. The radio will be. So, hopefully, you can hear that. Uh, unbelievable. This radio is still going on. This audio file that it plays, you can download from my website. But I want to qu play that quick just to show that the audio sounds fine. It's on frequency. Um, so, at any rate, I'm going to show you this setup here so that people understand how I have this. As some of you may or may not know, I'm running the setup inside that camper. I do not heat this camper unless I'm going to do uh, stuff out here. I'll heat it for that day only. So when I did this video on this ball thing, I did not think this thing was going to last as long as it did. Uh, matter of fact, the video is still, the live stream is still going as we speak. So I cannot reach in, in there to, uh, I can point vaguely, but I, I don't, I don't want to reach in there. This is the setup. Now, this is all this is right here. I'm going to kind of explain some of this. I have a ring light, which I flipped up because otherwise the glare on the metal makes it really hard to see. I have another little light. You can see it right there, like a little um, computer light that shines more on the meter. I have the digital microscope that's shooting on the meter. That's how we can see the meter up close. Then I have another camera that's right here that shoots down over the overall layup. Um, as you can see, maybe you can't really see it, I don't know. I had to tie string to this camera because it gets so cold, no matter how tight I turn those thumb uh, nuts, the weather with the coldness makes the plastic shrink and the arm wants to slowly creep down. So I had to tie string, I did it to both cameras just to avoid problems. Uh, matter of fact, the radio is being transmitting now. You can see the green light. You can see the meter. I, like I say, this is this is still live, so I can't. I don't want to reach in there. Hopefully, you can see the meter right there. And there's no antenna. Okay. So obviously, as you see, I have this radio kind of show for proof that this one is transmitting because you can see the green light. I have this one on a battery eliminator. You can kind of see the cord going up to my little outlet there. I plug into. Okay. The bow thing is hooked up to a battery eliminator. There's a wire that comes out right there. It goes to here, comes over here, and it goes to right here. Goes to a power supply. I did put another capacitor in parallel for you know, kind of help with any ripple effect. This power supply is pretty clean, but I just did it anyways. And the power supply that I'm using for the bow thing is this little adjustable computer power supply that can handle up to 2.5 amps. I have it set to almost 8 volts because that's the voltage the battery eliminator that's inside there was set to. Um, I tried using the battery elim eliminator that came with the radio but they didn't last long enough under my test playing around with them. So what I did was I took the battery limiter apart, took the voltage regular out, and just ran straight wires out. And that let me use this power supply, and I just adjusted to 8 volts. This plug here, like I said, goes to this radio for the receive. And that's it. This The ball thing is set to Vox, which I have. You can see the headphones are plugged in right there. I have that going right here to my little jumper clips. And those are hooked up, as you can see, to the computer right here. That's what gets the sound. And then the sound file I'm playing using that uh, repeater software. I did a video a while back ago, you know, how to do station identification. Well, I'm using that same software. I just set it for every two minutes. The software is set for every two minutes, but it actually plays the audio file every minute and every one minute and six seconds if you want to be exact but I had to do the I had to do the two minutes because of the sound file itself is 50 seconds long actually I think the sound file is 53 seconds if you want to be technical 
But that's why I had to set that to two minutes to kind of compensate for that. Uh, that's it. That's all this is. That's it. There's nothing else I can really say. <laughs> Maybe the cold is, is helping it stay run longer. I do have a temperature uh, on, on the live video, as you guys can see. Yes, this is inside a camper, so it may not be as cold, but it's still going to be cold. So I'm thinking the temperature. I'm thinking maybe the pigtail is acting as a load of some sort, and maybe the meter may be a load too of some sort. I'm not for sure. Um, but that's the only thing I can think of. And you can see there's no dummy load. There's nothing hooked up to this mirror, just like it shows in the video. There's nothing hooked up to this at all. And I've been listening, monitoring with another handheld. Obviously, this other handheld, let me show you. Oh, there it goes. It's transmitting. Oh, so it's you've seen this. You're, I'm making this video as this, this setup is still live on the YouTube website. This is still live on the website. You can see it transmitting. Um, so what I did was I took another radio, which you can see that's transmitting. I programmed it to the same frequency as the ball fang so I can actually listen to the audio. I don't want to reach in here and turn the volume up, so I use a different radio. That just to represent, like I said, uh, the green light, as you can see in the video, lets you know it's transmitting. There's a red light, kind of hard to see, but it's there. And I obviously, obviously you got the watt meter, which you can kind of see the needle going up. So this, this is still live streaming as I'm doing this video. So, so I've been monitoring the sound quality, make sure it's okay, and it's been sounding really great. Let me turn it up. Oh, maybe it's at the end now. Nope, yep, I just missed it. It's at the end. At any rate, but you heard him again in the video. Hopefully you caught that on there, that it sounds real great. And I do have the audio file um, available in the description of the live feed. So if you want to download it and do the same setup as I did here, to verify it, that's fine. Um, like I said, <laughs> this is <laughs> unbelievable. I didn't think it'd go this long. I thought maybe 45 minutes. So we're going to regroup and uh, figure out. Unless if, unless if this thing dies, which I'm starting to think it's not going to, I'm going to stop this live stream here pretty soon. And then I'm going to re re reevaluate the situation and do change things up and see if we can kill it the, a, a different way. I thought doing it this way we would be more realistic because if you're talking to somebody on the radio, you're going to talk maybe 50 seconds on key to let the other person that you're talking to key up. So that's why I did it this type of... Oh, oh there it is. The recording is to test the handheld there we go. Hear it? <laughs> Sounds great. Unbelievable. At any rate, so I was trying to represent the radio being used normally. I mean, unless you dead key a radio, which that's not normal, obviously. So I'm thinking maybe someone has high SWRs and they're talking on the radio. I was I'm trying to represent how it's going to be. And they have a plugged in their cigarette lighter in the car because, you know, they got an antenna hooked up to it or whatever. So that's why I did this with it playing 50 seconds off for about a minute and six seconds and then replays the audio file. I'm trying to represent like somebody is talking, like if I'm talking to a buddy of mine and then I unkey and then he rekeys back up, that's what I'm trying to represent. So that's why I thought it would be a good idea. So at any rate, but obviously this thing went way longer than I thought. So there you have it. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe and thank you and have a good day.